So following Mackenzie Dern's first loss in her UFC career to Amanda Rebus, we got to see her return against Hannah Cyphers. And after a pretty solid first couple of round or first couple of minutes where she was landing some decent strikes, she was able to get the fight to the ground and finish. So I'm going to show you the finish first and then break it down. So here she hits an Uchimata, uh, ends up on bottom. Uh, but from there, Cyphers, rather than running away, decides to continue to ground and pound. And Dern just scoops up her leg, attacks a knee bar, and is able to get the finish. And here is the tap. So excellent finish for Dern. Um, first one for her in a little while. Obviously, she had her initial loss in October. And then prior to that fight in October, had taken some time away for pregnancy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through the replay here. And it's going to be just sort of step by step talking about what Dern does, but then also what mistakes Cyphers makes that leads to Dern being able to get the finish here. So we're going to slow it down. So Cypher starts off in the guard of Mackenzie Dern. Dern wanted the fight to get to the ground, but she didn't necessarily want to go down this way exactly. She was trying to get on top. She went for that Uchimata. Cypher was able to turn her over with Cypher's underhook. And so from here, Dern's kind of in this position where she's like, okay, well, it is on the ground. I'm just going to have to attack from here and hope that Cypher at least humors me and stays on the ground with me. Cypher was willing to do that rather than try to get away, which she could have. Uh, she decided to try to ground and pound instead. Really isn't a whole ton of control here from Mackenzie Dern keeping Cyphers in her guard. Cyphers is more just trying to stay on top and land some ground and pound. So here she off balances Cyphers a little bit and starts to get some control of Cyphers' left leg. But again, if Cyphers wants to get away, she probably would be able to here. But again, Cyphers is sort of leaning back, looking to punch. At this point, not a ton of control from Mackenzie Dern. Honestly, if we're just looking at this from a judicial position, we're not knowing who's who, like if I didn't tell you that the guy, the girl on bottom here is a former black belt world champion, this position is a better position for Cyphers than it is for Dern. Uh, you, you'd want to clear this right leg here of Dern and you'd be able to pass off of it. No, obviously it's not going to be that easy. And Dern, knowing positions where she's a little open to attacks from Cyphers is very quick to close those openings up. So again, she's going to look to switch her grip here on the leg. So at this point, Dern doesn't have any control of Cyphers' posture, no upper body control. The left leg isn't really doing anything to control Cyphers. Her right leg really not controlling Cyphers all that well. The, the main control that she has on Hannah Cyphers at this point is control of Cyphers' left leg. Um, but there isn't a whole ton of control here. So she's going to use her left hand to sort of keep Cyphers' leg in place as she switches from going over the top to underneath. So scoops underneath here. Okay, as she's scooping underneath, though, she's going to roll underneath as well. So she wants to keep her right leg in the middle, and she's going to try to bring her left leg all the way around and scoop around on Cyphers. Now, Cyphers did a good job of pushing this foot off the hip, which again is good. Again, this could potentially be a passing position for Cyphers if you're looking at it just in the still. Like I mentioned before, Mackenzie Dern is very quick here. She knows that it's a somewhat vulnerable position, and she has to attack quickly not to give Cyphers a chance to pass her guard. So though in this freeze frame, it looks like Cyphers, if she can control the knee here, can potentially pass. Dern is going to move quickly here to make sure that that space isn't opened. So it's quickly attacking at this point. She's brought the outside leg around. So that's going to be her left leg and has some control behind Cyphers' knee. So for Cyphers, you kind of have a couple options here. When, with your leg being attacked, you can either go into the pocket and try to drive right through, or you can just try to get away. Uh, at this point, Dern doesn't have complete control. She's looking to get some more control with her legs now, but right now most of the control she has on Cyphers is with her arms. Again, still looking to tighten up. At this point, Cyphers is actually in a pretty good spot here, especially in an MMA context. In a jiu-jitsu context where you can't punch, this isn't as good of a position. You can still kind of hang out here and just drive your knee or drive your shin into the person on bottom's face, which it looked like Cyphers was doing. Here, Cyphers is punching the leg. That's really not an effective punch. It's not going to do you any good. Um, but if you can stay heavy in here and keep from being extended, which is obviously going to be Dern's goal, one of the downsides to leg locks in MMA is that you have to commit both hands to the leg, whereas you're not committing any hands to your face to protect it. Now, Dern is doing a good job of tucking her chin here where there isn't a whole lot of space to punch her. You can kind of punch the forehead, but the forehead isn't exactly the most vulnerable spot. But even still, if you can drive your shin in here and just kind of hang out and throw a bunch of punches, you're going to rel be, be relatively safe. And that's what Cypher should be doing here. Instead, Cypher just kind of punches up the leg and doesn't stay heavy. But at the same point, if you're not going to stay heavy, you, you should have been trying to get out a lot sooner. So here you can tell, okay, well... Pressing into Dern isn't going to be her plan anymore. She's going to try to get out. But at this point, you, you got to bail. You can't just hang out here. You, you got to bail quickly. 
this knee line here is the most important detail. This is the detail that Dern needs. It's the detail. It's the detail that Cyphers needs to pay the most attention to. So one of the tricky things here for Hannah Cyphers is that because you have to clear your knee line, you got to be careful about where exactly your knee's pointed. If you're trying to just bail out, honestly, your best bet is going to effectively be to feed a position that could lead to a heel hook and then just try to roll through. And then as you're rolling, trying to get your knee clear during the roll. So one of the downsides here for Cyphers is that no matter where her knee's pointed, she's going to be at a risk of something. If your knee is just pointed straight here into Mackenzie Derns's hips, you're vulnerable to the knee bar. If you point your knee out or at least down to towards Dern's right leg or towards the bottom leg, then the right heel will be exposed on the top side. So then Dern can pull the leg over and attack a heel hook on the top side. If your knee is then pointed upwards towards the top of Dern's hip or towards her left hip, um, then she can tuck your heel down towards the bottom and go for the heel hook there. So it's really not as though just turning the knee is going to be enough here for Hannah Cyphers. You're going to have to turn the knee and then do some more to escape. Uh, but at this point, it seems unlikely that she's going to be able to get out. dern has got a pretty good bite on her leg here. She's got control over top of the knee. So for Cyphers at this point, your best bet is pretty much going to be to sort of feed, turn your knee in one direction or the other, and then turn in the correct way, depending on which way you turn your knee, roll through, and then try to pull your knee out at that point. But at this point, hanging out here is not a great idea. dern has got control of your leg. She's got it pretty strained out at this point. As for Dern. This is a pretty tight position as it is. It's a pretty tight knee bar as it is, but she's actually going to switch it over and switch her grip from going two arms over the top, pulling into her chest to pulling it underneath her right armpit and then pulling back with the armpit. And that's a much tighter grip on a knee bar. So here again, two hands on the chest. Cyphers isn't turning her knee, isn't trying to feed it where she can start rolling through. And part of that also is Dern's grip right here on the heel. It's also making it tough for, for Cyphers to turn her knee. But if she was going to defend and try to bail out, that would have been her best bet. Uh, so good detail here by Mackenzie Dern to control the heel. Here she's going to bring it over and tuck it underneath. And then as she tucks it underneath, she's then going to roll over onto her stomach and hip in. But this detail here where you're tucking it underneath your armpit, it makes the knee bar so much tighter. Uh, it, it's a great detail. And it, pretty much any time I have a chance to finish a knee bar, I, I like to switch to this grip because it makes it a heck of a lot tighter. And it, it feels a lot easier and a lot more efficient to finish it that way. So she rolls over, has control underneath the armpit. And at this point, it's pretty much over. You can see the knees completely straightened out. And as she hips in, it's just only going to get straighter. And there's only going to be more pressure on it. You can kind of tell by the angle here. This is pretty gnarly where the knee would kind of be here, but then it's going down and then up. You see like the slope here. So at this point, knee bar is fully locked in. Cyphers is doing, in theory, the right thing here to kick on the butt. As I mentioned before, the, the main concern here with the knee bar and most leg locks is if you can get your knee free, then you're good. Her knee is under control so if you can kick off the butt sometimes you can get your knee out but at this point the knee bar is already locked in now they're actually going to show a different angle where it looks like it was starting to slip a little bit i mean at this point it was still completely tight yeah you can see from the top here so usually you kind of want to have the heel bit bitten underneath in the armpit you can see here she loses the heel so the heel is no longer under the armpit so it's not completely tight at this point cyphers hadn't tapped out yet but again even though it's not 100% locked in to the point where the heel is underneath the armpit, which at this at, at this point, if it was like I could only damage, I could only man, I could only imagine the damage on the knee. Uh, but even still, she's got her hips into it. Uh, the knee was fully locked out, as you could tell from the other angle. It was already bent in the wrong direction, so it's enough to get the tap anyway. So Cipher was getting close to escaping somewhat. Um, she wasn't in like a 100% locked in knee bar, but it was locked in enough to the point where it could do a lot of pressure. It could cause a lot of pressure on the knee and can do a lot of damage on the knee. So good details there for Mackenzie Durham for Hannah Cyphers. Uh, it was sort of odd to see what she was trying to figure out there. I don't know what her plan was on top. I'm sure if, if you're going to fight Mackenzie Durham, you have to have a strategy. If I'm going to end up in top position, whether she pulls guard or whether I end up on top in a takedown sequence, what am I going to do from there? Am I going to just try to escape or am I going to try to grapple with her? It seemed as though she wasn't completely clear on what she wanted to do there. I guess for her, once she got on top, she figured she could land a few punches and make her pay and wouldn't be in a whole lot of risk, but really wasn't very responsive to the leg attack. Uh, once she had seated control of her knee line, uh, didn't decide to drive in and try to ground and pound, tried to escape, but when she was trying to bail out, really didn't do a very effective job in that and ended up getting caught. So good job by Mackenzie Dern uh, for Hannah Cyphers it's going to be tough to go back and watch the video because she was doing pretty well up until this point, but made a lot of mistakes throughout the entire sequence that led to Mackenzie Durham being able to get a nice finish here.